Look at the back. No, how much? Are you at the back? Oh, that's yeah, that's that's Vonnie right there. That's Vonnie. Ooh, okay. So so that's another thing too. And shout out to Vonnie for this. When you are new to money, you don't really know how jewelry costs. And let me tell you this for every artist out there that's watching me, and I know there's a bunch watching me, because it's happened to me. When I first went to buy jewelry, sometimes you try to bring a man's because he bought jewelry before, so you're hoping. Here's the thing. Your man's bringing you here because the jeweler going to give him a discount over his shit. The whole jewelry game is low-key kind of be like a scam. So anyway, here's the point of it all. A part of you getting finessed, because this has happened to me too. That's why I don't like strip clubs that much. Because until you're in the game long enough where it's so abundantly clear that you got bread... Usually when you're new to bread, you're trying to spend more bread to convince people you got bread. So when they tell you a price 10 to 20,000 too high, if you're like, oh man, I can't do that. You look broke. <laughs> it look like you don't belong. So sometimes you'd be like, nah, I got that. I got it. I got it. They're overcharging you though. Niggas is overcharging you. Shit. I remember nigga told me a price. I was just like, like if I try to, if I tell him, I, nah, I can't do that. He, he might look at me like I'm broke. <laughs> Right? Because they butter you up. Yo, you getting all this money, man. Yo, damn, man, you ain't got nothing yet? All right, we're going to get you right with your first piece. I remember holding up the first cube, and I said, how much is this? I said, this is 70000 I got it. I got it. I got it. Got it. I'm pointing to my man. Yeah, the backpack. Yeah, I got it. I got it. <laughs> my broke ass. Here, my broke ass. You know how I try to do it? So my first cube, it was 70 I said, I said, I said, I said, I said nah, I want more, though. Like, like, no, nah, we could do a deal if we get... So I'm trying to really ask a discount type shit. But I'm doing it in a way where it don't make me look broke. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm, I'm going to cop like two to three things. You could give me a deal on it if I cop three. They'll be like, oh, yeah, we got you. We got you. So basically, by the time I did it, I think I spent 100 It was like, all right, no, nah, no. Nah, we'll give you... Now, nah, we're going to just work. That's 60 right? That's all right. Bad, 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 bad. I got the brace. That's all right. Bad, bad, bad. Man, that shit probably costs 30 grand. Like, let's get, like, that chain that nigga told me send a K is probably 30 grand, nigga. I got it upstairs. I gotta go get that shit appraised. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. Yo, chat, I went to my, yo, real talk, and I know I'm sidestepping a little bit, but I, but y'all know what you get from an act stream. Yo, I went to my, I went to, I popped out at Rutgers University. Um, I went there for college, if you didn't know. I popped out to the homecoming, and, I ain't wear no jewelry, I think. Did I wear jewelry? No, no, no. Maybe I wear I wore my small Cuban. That, that shit cost me. How much does small Cuban cost? I think that cost me like 25 or 30. And he, they claim they gave me a discount. Whatever. Cool. I wore that and I wore the card, my card year and a bracelet. And when I went there, like mad people like, oh, act here. Like, yo, it's going crazy. Whatever. I was like, whatever, whatever. And I'm dapping some niggas up and taking pictures with them. I'm looking at them. They, that's why I hate about jewelry. I got on some, I got on real shit, but maybe they're that rich because I don't know these niggas. Everybody got a Cuban on. <laughs> everybody got a Cuban on now. And I'm, I'm starting to think, does everybody really got like 70 fucking thousand dollars to spend? So I ain't going to lie to you, chat. Like, I'm probably either done wearing my, my shit or I'm just like, I'm not going to sell it. I'm just going to leave it, bro. Like, I'm tired of this shit, bro. Because the fake shit, the Mosinite niggas is killing the game. A nigga coming with Mosinite, like, I'm dapping up a nigga. I'm like, yo. Does this nigga even have a job? Niggas is popping out with Mosaic. They look just like your shit to the, uh, the naked eye. Look, the Mosaic shit look just like your shit. So if you bought this to look rich or flex, the nigga who bought the Mosaic looks exactly like you. So now I'm like, what the fuck? The Mosaic niggas is going crazy. So now I'm like, God damn it. So... Imagine me wearing my shit. I'm risking because I'm thinking when anytime I wear my, my jewelry, I'm thinking I got a hundred thousand dollars on on me. Niggas might try to. I gotta. I gotta even move a certain way. These niggas got probably eight hundred bucks on them. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So like, bro, why'd you spend a hundred thousand dollars for? No fucking reason. Because you're trying to look different, but then all the nigga got the most tonight, and they look just like you to the naked eye. <laughs> all right, they might not be famous, but like. So, so now I realize me showing up and people say, oh, that's act. That's bigger than what I'm wearing. So, I don't know. 
Um, I, I was actually Googling. I'm like, is there a new type of shit that niggas ain't bootleg yet <laughs> that could show that my jewelry is out of this world? And Vlad told me, Vlad showed me this shit, which was low key. Vlad was like, because Vlad has a Richard Mill. He has a Richard Mill. It's a quarter million dollars. And he showed it to me. And I'm like, yeah, I think this iced out bullshit is done. I, I think I, I'm going to just get like, like a rare, you know, one of them little weird ass watches, but they're rare, but there's no diamonds on them. And you'd be like, oh yeah, that's 300,000. I'm like, all right, maybe that's the flex now because everybody got Mo's tonight. Anyway, I, I just went on a whole little uh, rant or a little side trap. But yeah, these days you can't tell, man. You can't tell. But this is the reason why I went to that story because everybody who just gets money, a jeweler has finessed. They tell you they're giving you a deal. They're like, nah, just tag me on the gram. Nah, not nah, took 10 bands off it. Just tag me on the gram. You know what I mean? Or the jeweler be like, nah, I just want to make a video saying you cop from me and you my client. <laughs> You're like, all right. He'd be like, nah, I'm, I'm going to take, I'm, yo, you can't do eight. Like, nah, I'll do for 70 as long as, um, yeah, just, we'll just make a video. Just tag me on the gram. You done gave him mad free promo. He got 15 other clients. You 15 other celebrity clients. And then like probably a hundred regular people. And he took off $10,000 that it really didn't even cost. <laughs> this shit costs 40. He's selling it to you for 80. He said, do a promo video for me. I give you for 70. Yo, stupid ass still paid 30,000 over the price. This is a finesse. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> anyway, I said all I had to say. First time, I don't know if this is the first time, but he shows up to go get jewelry. And um, I guess Va Vonnie is there to kind of make sure he don't get scammed. Let's play it. She's like, man, you know what? This is this is what I want. You know, yeah, pull another hundred quarter. You know, see, my mom got a Camaro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, exactly. yeah, yeah. That's why I just had to pay it off. I told her to trade in and get a new one, but she, you know, with my Camaro. See, chat. I'm telling you, this is this is when you just finally got some money. When you talk to people, you're dying to let them know I'm rich now. I'm rich now. Nah, nah. Yeah, my mom got a Camaro. Nah, I told her to trade it in, pay it off. He's qualifying himself. Because he thinks that these jewelers only deal with super rich people and that he's trying to qualify himself to them to say, oh, no, I'm rich now, too. Now, I told yeah, my mom got a bullshit car. I told her to get a better one. You know what I mean? You're going to see it. The little two, like the little two, like the little two, the little Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then we got, she got grandkids and all types of stuff. Why you want a little Camaro? Nah, I just let her keep it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that means you're giving us the watch for how much? However you look at it. Yeah. Now, he's smart. This is where they finesse the fuck out of you. <laughs> this is where they rob you blind. <laughs> okay. So you just give us the watch for five then, and then you no, just keep the earrings. We don't want the earrings. No. That makes sense, don't it? Now, this nigga mad right here. He's like, why the hell is you telling this? Vaughn came here to give us all of his cash. <laughs> you know the videos I love the best? Uh, I got to show you this video. <laughs> and the salute to Johnny Dang. I'm not hating on none of y'all jewelers. Keep, keep getting y'all money. You know what I mean? There's a video. There's a video I think he put up. I think it's with a, it's with a, um, what do you got? What do you call the guy name again? Oh, it's with Funny Mike. Yeah, shout out to Funny Mike. You know, Funny Mike getting that bag. Uh, and Funny Mike go there and they make a video where it's like he gets some shiny shit and Funny Mike get all the money. No, no, no. Funny might get the, the shiny shit and Johnny Dan get all the money. It should be looking hilarious. Watch this. Look. My birthday, what you say? Too easy. Too fucking easy. Now. Come on, yeah. man. Come see what's going on, baby. Look at this. Yeah. Big boy birthday, man. Mm -hmm. You know you know what's funny? Like, they, these look good. They look amazing. But the funniest part of it is always when they're handing the money over. Like, the niggas flexing with your money and you're flexing with, like, these diamonds? That we don't really know. Like I was listening to like, I think CJ So Cool go off on a rant. Like he's been going through some shit. He said, yo. He said, I spent a million dollars on jewelry. And I never knew what a fucking carrot cost. I didn't know nothing about jewelry. I would go to the jeweler. I would say, I want the biggest and the best. They would tell me some shit. And I would just pay whatever they told me. I didn't know that number one. They were using reduced quality and all that type of stuff. I only found out when it was time to sell it back because I was going through some shit. And I said, damn, 
That's all of us black people. Let's keep it a beat. Mm -hmm. Wait, how much? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me get that bag. Yeah. Oh, look, look, look. It's showing this. Look, look. Yeah, look, look. Let me get that hey, bag right here. Most of the time. He Let me get that bag, man. Credit card. Let's see what time it is. Oh, and I got some more blues in my pocket. No, no, no. Don't no sleep. Yeah. Turn me oh. up, big fan. Oh, Pull like this. The jeweler, he not that impressed with this. You know what he impressed with? Cold, hard cash. <laughs> Yo, cold hard cash. The jeweler's impressed with the cold hard cash. We 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 impressed with anything that sparkles. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, come on. Too easy. Too easy. <laughs> back on, yeah. yeah. Look, this is all you gotta see. Shout out to John Dang. No, I'm not hating on you. I love you, John Dang. I met you by, by the way. You're dope. He flexed it with the money, you flex it with your teeth. <laughs> This is good. Hey, don't call me. Don't. <laughs> unless you got the blues. <laughs> Look, the jeweler's saying, don't call me unless you got the blues. And the nigga, I guess he said, don't call me unless you got the teeth shiner. I don't know. Shout out to Funny Mike, though. That's my guy. I know you're going to call me. I, I want that Funny Mike. This is big money Mike grill. Yeah. <laughs> so I know you're going to call for that Funny Mike shit, but that's big money. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Too fucking easy. Yeah. Okay, all right. All right. Yeah. It's too me a big fast. Yeah. Yo, I, I I went in to go get my jewelry. That nigga got this. Nigga got a vault of hell. The the nigga safe. Nigga look like even if you stole the safe, you'll never get in. <laughs> I'm like, where they put the money at? You nigga, you'll never get in, nigga. Anyway, all right. Anyway, so okay, so we're back to this video. This is OTF Vaughny. And he's telling King Vaughn, he's trying to make a deal for him. And by the way, that's W Homeboy for that. Trying to make a deal for him. Because right now, he's gassed up off. He might just got a big deal, just got a big payment. Somebody wired him a million dollars. And now he's just looking to spend. And, you you know, when you feel like you're trying to put yourself off as a million dollar nigga, say something called 70000 You're not going to, like, you know, you're not going to be like, um, you're not going to be like, Oh nah, I'll only pay six. Yo, I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh chat. Oh, this is oh this is good. This is actually good. This is actually good. This is actually good. Yo, chat. All right, I'm right, gonna tell you some dumb shit. I'm gonna tell you some dumb shit. I can tell you some dumb shit. I'm gonna tell you some dumb shit because I'm saying this not to shame nobody. I'm telling you this how this how us black people really it works. I'm gonna tell you the truth. Remember, I told you I won a million dollars in gambling. Well, really, you know, I've lost millions. So so like I had a good day. I won like a million dollars. Usually I win a couple hundred thousand or I lose a couple hundred thousand. And essentially. I had a million, and then I lost a bunch. And when I was about to lose, I'm like, yo, it's no way I could lose a fucking million dollars gambling. So I stopped myself, and I called my dealer up, and I bought the Maybach, right? So I bought the Maybach, and yeah, I'm paying for it cash. Cool. Anyway, he's just, I never seen the Maybach before I bought it. I just like, he, he texts me pictures. I'm like, I want that one. Give me that one. Okay, cool. So he sends me the picture of the Maybach. I'm like, all right, yeah, I want that one. By the way, which I didn't even know that was that popular because Young Miami got one, Yachty got one. I didn't even know this is that popular. Anyway, so whatever. Um, he's like, all right, bet whatever, whatever. Um, so then, like, at the point where your dealer is hitting you up like that, they're not sending you prices, my nigga. I mean, you could obviously find it. You could go on the website and find the car, but he just sends it to me. So he tells me a price. I can't remember what the, what the price was. I think the price was like, which by the way, I put it I put it incorrectly in my car vlog because the car cost two fifty. It wasn't, yeah, something like that. Anyway, here's the point. The car was, I forgot the exact price. Maybe it was like two sixty. And I got a shout out to my man's. I actually play Fortnite with him all the time in Discord. And um, my man Dab is a white dude. You know, white people be on that shit. Us niggas, we really be, we be trying to qualify so much that we got money. We'll overpay, bro. White people, they're always like, no matter, because they don't care about wearing wealth and showing, like, they, they do, they usually, unless they're on some nigga shit. Anyway, so they give me a, so the dude says, all right, so is this. The guy knows how I deal with him. I buy all my cars cash. All right, let's say it was 260. I don't, I don't want to quote it directly, but let's say it was 260. I said, all right, bet. 260, cool. So I'm talking to this guy and he says to me, he's like, yo, me being, you know, I bought my first car, which is, I still have my first car. It's a, it's a 2010 Mazda 3. And after that, I've never had a used car. And I bought that car in 2010. 
but it was used. It was an enterprise car that people turned back in. But ever since then, I've just always bought new cars. I'm thinking at a certain price, like if I'm buying Lambos, supercars, and Maybachs, they don't haggle with prices. Like you don't walk in and be like, let me get that Bugatti, but not three million. Let me get it for two point eight. So my stupid ass is just like, whatever you say the car costs, because I want a car, I, I got it. The dude tells me, he's like, and I'm just gonna throw a number. I'm, he's like, yo, he's like, Ack, wait, you're gonna pay that? Like, they're not giving you no deal? I'm like, deal, nigga, it's Maybach, nigga, the fuck? He's like, Ack, I'll make a bet with you. That dealer you're doing it with will give you a fucking deal. I'm like, no, they won't. It's a fucking Maybach. So he says, tell the dealer, because the guys text me anytime new cars come in, like the, the expensive one. He says, tell him you can't do 260 You could pay 250 today. I said, bro, he's not going to do that. It's a fucking Maybach. He said, just do it. If I'm wrong, my bad. I do it. I text the guy. I said, I'll pay 250 not 260 The dude came back. No, he's like, oh, I got to talk to my um, general manager or whatever. <laughs> 15 minutes later, it was just like, all right, 250 you got it. You're getting it today? I'm like, wait. Yo, you could actually haggle with a price over, like, again, I know, I thought it was only, this is my stupid ass, I thought it was only for cars that's not that expensive, because these type of cars, they don't market, it's either you got it or you don't, it was just like, no, it's still buying a car, bro, like, you could definitely take off 20, 30 grand, which I learned a thing or two, because me, whatever they told me, I was just paying, like, the Lambo, the Lambo was like, 295, I was like, all right, 295, here it is. It's like two ninety five and six hundred bucks, six hundred sixteen bucks. Nigga, I went to the bank and just wired it. Could have probably told him, nah, nigga, I got two seventy or two sixty for you, and let's go through some negotiation. My audio is going in and out. <clears throat> anyway, I'm good. Let me know if it's good or it's cracking. <clears throat> What's it? Fix your mic, nigga. Am I good? My check, my check, my check. I'm good now? I'm good? Okay, I think I should be good. Okay. So essentially, I found out that not because you're buying really expensive things, and, 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 and it wasn't their fault, it's my fault. I'm going under the assumption, I got to show y'all that I'm rich. By the way, here's a qualifier thing too. You know why I never had a car loan? This, I, this is why I never had a car loan. In, I've, no, no, after my very first car. So when I started getting YouTube money, this is, this is how long I've been doing this shit. 10 years ago, I wanted to go get a Mercedes. My credit was like, I got evicted from a place because one of uh, the two people I was living with, they stopped paying me, right? Or they stopped paying their, their share of the rent. My name was on the thing. We got evicted because... I was either going to have to pay for all three of us or nothing at all. So anyway, we got evicted. My credit's fucked. I'm getting money. It's 2014. I want to buy a Benz. I go into the Benz dealership. I try to go buy a Benz. They look at me and they said, okay, all right. Like I pick out the Benz. And I'm like, this is great. Like I sit in it. I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to finally own a Benz. Remember, my only car still is a Mazda 3, 2010. I said, all right, good. Yeah, I want this. Now I'm, I'm feeling myself too because I say, yo, I want people to feel like I want. Yo, is, is my app still fucking up? My mic, I mean? If it's. Yeah, I think you got to re refresh your. Um, just refresh. Refresh your stream. Yeah, no, it, it, it looks fine on what I'm, what I'm doing. Mike is good, bro. I'm telling you, the mic is good. I, I would be able to see it dropping out. Yeah, I, I think it's the stream. Just refresh the stream, chat. Just refresh the stream. I'm sorry. Okay. So, I go in. I sit in this car. I like it. I find the one I want. The car was about like fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000, right? I'm like, I want this one, right? We go to sit down and do it. And I knew my credit wasn't the best, but I didn't know it was this bad. It was like five hundred, dollars right? Now, the way how these car dealerships work is that if you've never owned a car, like they actually, they do a point system. When, like you have a car rate, you have a car score rate. I never knew this, right? Basically, your trustworthiness 
for that dealership and also how many other cars you've had of that brand. So it's my very first car I'm trying to get. I think it was a C-Class. Was it C-Class? I can't remember. And fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000. I sit down with a person. It's, it's definitely on y'all end. I sit down with a person and they're trying to figure it out. And they said, all right, the credit report came back. It's not that good. And I said, oh, fuck. I said, what can we do? Yeah, I think it's YouTube acting. I think YouTube is acting, acting up. Is, is, is everybody on Twitch okay? Okay. So they checked my credit. They wouldn't give me a car. I even showed my bank account. I think at the time, I don't know. I think maybe I had like $100,000 in my bank. And, and I was just showing them I could afford this car like twice. Like, what do you mean you're not giving me the car? Like, come on. Like, I want, I want the car. I think I was trying to maybe even lease it. I was, I was trying to lease it because, you know, tax purposes. And I was like, no, I could finance it if I need to. They turned me down. They turned me down. And um, after then, I remember I grinded. And two years later, in 2016, I went back to that same dealership. And not same dealership. It was Mercedes. And I bought a G-Wagon. It was like 170000 And I bought it. And I remember after, no, I built it because you know, I was sitting with the guy. They're like, oh, you got this in terms of, and, and then, and I felt like, I felt like they were testing me. So we get to the point of payment and it says, so how are you going to pay it? You want to do the credit application again? And it was almost like, I felt like people were just laughing at me. And my ass said to them, I'm paying for it cash. It felt like the, the, the movie with uh, DMX when he came and they threw the bag of money, right? Which I got to learn later. It don't work like that in real life. You don't come and throw in a bag of money when you're buying a hundred seventy thousand dollar car. No, nigga, you're gonna wire that bitch. And um, yeah, and then even then, I remember when I got the car at the time, there was a whole problem with like Nigerians stealing cars. So they they wouldn't. It, they had a thirty day hold on issuing the title because um, they couldn't issue the title uh, because people were sending those cars immediately to Africa. And there was a whole like title fraud shit. I don't know what. Anyway, here's the point. That me trying to prove myself got me into that mindset. A young black guy who just started making some money. I felt I had to. When when I was turned down, I had to show I did have the money. Now, subsequently, I ended up buying everything with cash, house cash, three other cars cash, but still. I never really utilize credit. I mean, nowadays I am because I'm, I'm starting to leverage things. But it goes into this conversation with with, with, with Vaughn. I, I get why you need some homie. Now, granted, I don't know if this guy has business sense or not, but the dude is there trying to help Vaughn, right? Like, yo, bro, yo, you can get a deal from these guys, dog. Like, yo, dog, yo, this fucking earring cost what? Nigga, stop playing, bro. Like, yo, give Vaughn a deal, nigga. Like, what, what are you doing? You know. So he's trying to work the deal. You'll notice Vaughn is being quiet. Earrings. We don't want the earrings. No. That makes sense, don't it? I'm gonna take a shot. Like that. Like that. It's the same. So how much you tell? Dude, I can't do that now. Look, <laughs> look at Bonnie. Five then, and then you just keep the earrings. We don't want the earrings. No. That makes sense, don't it? <laughs> I'm going to take a shot with you like that. It's the same. So how much you telling me the earrings for? Those are, look at the back. No, how much? Look are you at the back. Okay, the back, the back says 600. Okay. So that means you're giving me for 5,500. Like I said. Yes, and plus tax. Come on, right. you know you're coming out of quarantine like that. Uh -huh. Dude said tax? What the fuck? Man, if a jeweler tell you tax, it's cap, man. All they be doing, especially when you paying in cash, you think a jeweler who gets $20,000 from you in cash reports to the IRS they got $20,000? First of all, the jewelry that you bought for $20,000 really cost ten. dollars So you know what they're going to say? Oh, we got fourteen. dollars That's an appropriate markup. Fourteen. dollars So the six k is fucking, you know? Now, granted, you know, the bigger you get, it's harder to do. Uh, because, you know, the government is going to easily see that you're scamming off the top, right? Like, every now and then you see, like, some, some fucking Chinese spot who, who all cash transactions, they don't, they don't report at all. They get caught up in some shit. Hey, how much you say you want for this one? Seven? I can sell for eight, no trade. Seventy cash? No. Wire transfer? Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, because it's 
You see, you see that? The dude said I could sell it for 80,000 no trades. This is this tells you everything you need to know about the business of um the the business of jewelry. The guy says wire transfer. And he says, "No, nah, I can't do that." What? What do you mean? 70 cash? No. Wire transfer. Oh, no, never mind. He's saying he's saying he's saying 70k for the cash, sorry. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, 70 in the parking lot? <laughs> <laughs> no, <bro. laughs> Now, this dude knows he's on camera. Vonda. Yeah. <laughs> These are investments, except... <clears throat> y'all, I'm going to give y'all another story. Yeah, I'm going to give you another story. I'm, I'm just putting y'all on game. I know there's YouTubers and even young rappers who watch me, so I won't put everybody on game. This should be no fucking secret. That's what I'm telling y'all. All this about investment shit. Man, when you go to one of these jewelers, respectfully, in hip-hop, if they... A plain Jane Cartier costs more than the iced out Cartier. By the time these jewelers take the product that cost a lot and put a bunch of diamonds that cost a little bit around it, the initial value of the product depreciates, right? So anyway, I was in a jeweler. I was at a jeweler's spot. Um, it, it was a it was a birthday for my girl at the time. And um I remember when we were there at the jewelry spot before, I was thinking about, oh, earrings, and they were they gave me a price on some earrings, right? And it looks big, like it was some shit that looks big, whatever. I'm like, all right, cool. So here's what I'm thinking, because I'm thinking all jewelry's made the same. But this is what happens when you're aftermark jewelry, uh, a jeweler, versus the jeweler that worked for like, here's the story. So I remember I didn't buy it at the time. All right, I said, okay. Her birthday comes around. I said, all right, you know what? Well, let me go get her some earrings. It'll be some dope shit. Let's go do it. Now, the jeweler I'll be fucking with is in New York. I want to go to New York. Like, yo, let's go to some local shit. Like, damn, I don't really know no local jewelers. You know what I did? I said, ah, let me go to Tiffany. Well, they sell jewelry. It's the same shit. Bruh. The jewel, the jeweler that was gonna cop in New York, and it was about the same size shit. That nigga was like, "Yeah, it's like 10k, whatever." And I'm like, "So I'm already thinking, I'm like, I could drop 10k for that." You know what I mean? Nah, nah, nah I mean, I could. You no, know, she gonna be extra. Like when she's sucking that joint, like, it's gonna, like I said, so I'm like, it's gonna be like 10k, gang. Could you tell me? I walked in Tiffany. First of all, you should know everybody's in suits. Everybody, but I'm thinking I'm in there on some. Like, I got it. Let's do it, man. So, ain't no prices nowhere that you can see. I couldn't see a price to save my life. I'm looking around. Ain't no prices. So I just pick. I said, "What size you want, baby?" I'm like, "Like, how much is this?" Said, "Let me get that one and that one right there. That one and that one." Or no, no. And let's let's see both of them. She put both in her ears. I'm like, All right, cool. What you like better? You tell them. Cause the person there, like everybody's in, even the woman's in the suit. I'm like, the fuck. So you tell her which one you like. She told me whatever. Again, they're both the same size. Don't matter. I said, I bet. Let's do that. <laughs> Yo, Jack. Yo, Jack. I said, let's do that. So cool. So now I'm trying to figure out the play away, the smooth way of asking the price. Because this is Tiffany's. But I walk in with my Cuban. I got my watch. I got my bracelet. Remember, my whole jewelry kit is like 100 bands. So I'm in a bit. So I'm like, man, I'm looking at my shit all shot. I said, man, give me them pussy ass motherfucking earrings. We ain't Tiffany's though. All right. He just said, oh, great choice. You know, they always say some, some compliments. Great choice. Like, these are to die for. Oh my God. I'm like, I'm thinking this bitch better die sucking my dick when she get these. <laughs> Come on, we got this. Bruv. They told me them two pussy ass piece of earrings cost $38,000. Nigga, my heart jumped from here to here. Now my bitch ass is here saying, well, I look fucking because I told him I said nice nah, her birthday. You know I had to cop. I got a cop or something nice. Now here's the thing I'm to keep saying about these hip hop jewelers. 
They're not selling you what Tiffany's is selling you. That's a fact. That's a fact. They're not selling you what Tiffany's is selling you. Nigga, it said 38000 Bruv, I'm trying not to play broke. And I, of course I got it, but it's just like, nigga, I didn't think I'm paying that for no fucking earrings. I'm thinking about that. I'm like, yo, my mama used to be a school teacher. That's my mom's whole year. Earrings, especially, I don't care about jewelry like that. I'm like, so now, and we had this conversation afterwards. So now I'm like, nigga, I'm looking at her like, I'm looking at her to say, bitch, you better not say you really want these. So I asked the question to not make me seem broke, but to put it in her decision. I said, I said, oh, 38? Okay, okay, okay. Aye, aye, aye. So I look at her and I said, I said, how bad you really want these? Nigga, the look on my face was, you know that SpongeBob meme? You know the sponge? The dehydrated joint? I look at her like this. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> You better not say you want these shits real bad. Fuck that. <laughs> but I couldn't say it because I'd be the broke ass nigga that fucked up and walked in here because I pulled her in there. <laughs> so now I'm, she's taking a while. God damn it. What the fuck? So now I'm starting to, I can't be broke. So I'm starting to throw some shit in the air. Think of what you could get with 38. You know, I could, you know, it's up to you. It's up to you. But just think of what else. And I think she started realizing the hint of, yeah, this broke ass nigga ain't trying to pay for this shit. <laughs> broke ass nigga ain't trying to pay for this shit, man. <laughs> Yo, she was just like, and she gave me the out. I'm going I'm to keep it a beat. She gave me the out. She was like, um, um, you yeah, know, I like him, but, 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 you know, like, I'm, I'm not in love with him like that. Um. And we could go look around. Could you hold these? And I was like, oh, nigga, I'm sweating bullets. <laughs> I'm sweating, nigga. I look like, what's the nigga name? I look like this nigga. This me right here, gang. I'm looking like him. This me. <laughs> this me. When she said that, nigga, I probably exited that shit, nigga. <laughs> so let me ask a question to any jeweler out there. Um, y'all could take this tracks or whoever. Why the fuck when I go to y'all store, y'all could show a nice pair of, of earrings and it'd be like, hey, these earrings cost like five or ten thousand. And I go to the, the Tiffany store. It's the reason why they got commercials on TV. And that same size earring costs $38,000. What the fuck are you selling and what the fuck are they selling? That's the question. That's when I knew I'm done with jewelry. <laughs> Nigga, what? Anyway, let's get back to this. We need to be at 30. Right now. Okay. We, need, we need to change the earring. 30 got, right now. Got, Come on. By the way, here's another thing. The nice lady in the suit that was selling this to us and the gentleman, they weren't into, I could tell, they weren't into haggling. I could, like, it was almost like when they was watching me, first of all, I walked in with a backpack. It was almost like, oh, broke. It's, it's like, it's like, it's like the, oh, security be on high alert, broke. They're here. All oh, the broke ones. Like, I'm going to lie. I'm qualifying myself to show I got bread. But they looking at me like, oh, and ask for a discount. He wants to haggle. Oh my God. It's a haggler. It's a haggler. Calm down. Jesus Christ. Two and a half carat each one. Is Man, 30,000 right now. That's it. That's all we got. We wouldn't even be able to touch that. <laughs> we can put him in a four prong mounting if you don't like the three prong mounting. 30,000. Yeah, three. You wouldn't be able to get anywhere near there. Like three. anywhere at all. Gang. Got a lot of yours. Nah, that's my, my, look, that's my, you guys wrote my grandma name. She just passed away. I got to kill my grandma next to me. Oh, yeah, I know what's going on. Yeah. Okay, what color is it? Yeah, I know, I know how it goes. 
Um, what's what'd be nice to women? Oh, no. Like she ain't got none. Chat, I went on a Tiffany store afterwards, gang. I'm, I'm going to see if I can find the, the shit that they, they try to sell me, bro. Bro. Nigga, I used to see, I used to see, uh, uh, you know, they'd be like, yo, get your ring with Zales. I'm like, all right, Zales. Nigga, I went to Tiffany and Co, nigga. Let me see if I can find what the fuck, that, earrings, nigga. Let me see if we can find it in this bitch. Nah, nigga, it was a big ass rock, nigga. <laughs> it was none of this, nigga. It was just a diamond. <laughs> See if I can find this shit, man. Man, I, I don't know. And by the way, it wasn't like some extra special shit. Like, it, 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 if if you just wanted the big rock, like, it just costs tens of thousands of, it was like 20 plus, you know what I mean? We're not talking about some bullshit like this. Like, nigga, it was just a big ass diamond. You know what I mean? Not nothing like this, man. This is out of collective. I'm trying to find that. Tiffany... It's just diamonds, but it was something like this, bro. It was something like this. Solitaire. Yeah, nah, this got to be fake. Maybe they sell fake shit, too. I don't know if they sell fake shit. The shit they told me was $38,000. And I remember the guy says, and I was just like, I'm, uh, um, I, I was speechless. I, I'm, yeah, I don't know if I can find on this bitch. Like, I'll even tell you where I went. I ain't trying to dox where I be going, but I'll tell you. Actually, I won't say that because y'all niggas going to be weird. I'm going to call, did academics really come over there and try to get it? Broke ass thing. <laughs> I don't know. But something like that, man. You, you see, the thing with diamonds, to me, like, if it was third, like, I don't know how big this is in real life. Or nor, nor if I know this is real diamonds. But if it was this big, bro, 1300 bucks, let's go. But he told me $38,000. Like, what the fuck is this? Let me see if I could sort by, like, price or something like that. They probably could spot me coming from a mile away. And actually, I really don't even think. Uh, how do I sort by price? Diamonds. I want to sort by price. Oh, price. Here we go. 5000 and over. Let's look at that. Let's see how that shit's hitting for. Nah, nah. I could put up... Nah. Let's do price minimum 20000 Okay. Oh, well, let's do that. Yeah, it was no shit like that. Look at this, fifteen thousand. All right, I was down to spend ten. I was down to spend ten. I ain't gonna hold you. See, when you open a store with your girlfriend like that, you thinking about all the time she done clean, cooked, sucked you off. Like you think about all good shit. Like you know what? All right, man, you leave me alone. You don't, you don't bitch and argue. Like you good. This this is like an installment for you to shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it like that. That's what you're thinking. <laughs> That's during the good times. That's during the good times. That's during the good times. <laughs> Until you realize you give her a piece of jewelry, she still sh won't shut the fuck up. <laughs> I can't find that shit. How much is this shit? Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this shit right here. Look at this shit. And to me, this little bullshit. Where is it at? It just popped up. Thirty, yeah, something like, yeah. Look at this, thirty-one thousand. <laughs> Nigga, you know, you know, I've been looking popping to me recently. Elon Musk robot for the house.